Hello, Ryan Willard, host of the Business of Architecture UK here. Hope you are all well. I'd like to have a quick message to you about storytelling. Now, as architects, I think we are actually pretty good at storytelling. It comes quite naturally to us in terms of our design projects and good designers are able to layer complex stories into the narrative of their buildings. We're able to communicate that story when we're talking to planning consultants and officers, when we're talking to our clients, we can sell them on a story about how the design, how the building will unfold. When we're talking to public consultations, um, you know, we can talk about the, a, a building can bring in the history of a particular site and the context through the usage of narrative and story. So that's a very architectural device that we're very comfortable with using. However, when it comes to telling stories about our business and the origin of our companies, this is something that architects might not often do. And great entrepreneurs, great business leaders are master storytellers. They're able to tell stories about their products, about how they've solved a problem specifically for their clients or they've discovered something. And when there's an emotional story that's being told around a service or a product, it builds an incredible amount of trust and rapport that makes winning work and making a longer term relationship with that particular client much, much easier. So on Wednesday, I'm gonna be looking at a webinar where we're gonna be talking about three um, leading UK architects, how they've grown their practices from small bedroom startups to large, in some cases, international offices of landmark projects around the world, and how they have used storytelling and how they've mastered the ability to create niche messaging to attract their ideal types of clients. So click in the information, follow the link in the information and uh, register for the webinar right now. And I look forward to seeing you on Wednesday.